So now that we've learned about redirect, we've learned about post redirect, now we're going to start sort of just using post redirect to accomplish things. And the thing that we're going to look at first is the patterns that we tend to use for login and log out and how the session and the cookies work together for login and log out. So recall that when we first looked at sessions, we weren't really logging anybody in. What we were doing is creating a key value store that's associated with a particular browser. So if you have 100 browsers, you'd have 100 little sessions, and each one has its own key value store. And the cookie is the way you look up the session, but the cookie is not the session itself because the user can change the cookie. And it, in effect, it's presenting the cookie unlocks the right session. But you don't want to like set a cookie that says this person is logged in and their username is Chuck. You don't want to do that because the user can change the cookie anytime they want and they can lie to you. That we can sign cookies and there are ways to create cryptographically secure cookies and that's a little better because at least they can they can throw them away but they can't sort of change them you know, once they're crypt cryptographically signed. So, the, But let's not worry about that. The cookie unlocks the session and whether you're logged in or not you want to put that in session data and so the act of logging in you need a session but then whether you're logged in or logged out is checking to see if something's in the session and when you log you check their password and you put something in the session as long as that stays there, then they're logged in. And when you log them out, you just take that thing out of the session. So all the rest of your application checks to see if the, there's a certain piece in the session. The user can't touch the session directly. They can touch the cookie directly. They can only touch the, the application reads and writes it. So it's protected. Um, and that's really important because you don't want the user to write, read and write everything. You want to read and write the things that you want them to use. So away we go. So this is the application that we're going to run. Uh, it's a sample application with uh, login, log out, flashing error messages, post redirect, and using the session to indicate logged in and logged out. And you can download all this code and take a look at it. And I'll record a little code walkthrough for this as well if that is a more fun way for you to see it. But let's just kind of go through these slides and take a look at how this works. So um, the first thing we're going to look at is the login. Second, we'll look at index.php. Um, and so here's your login code. And the key thing here is we will see this in a second. Yeah, let's look at this slide first. Now, doesn't matter. We got to start somewhere, so let's look at this slide first. So a get comes through and you put out this form. And the form has an account and a password. For now, I'm just making it type text so you can read your own password. And then you submit. So you submit back to login, it's method equals post, we're submitting a post to login.php. And so then, oops, once the post comes in, right, the get comes in and just goes through and, and paints that screen. The post comes in, session start, if we see that there are these variables set, um, we are going to first log the person out by taking the account key out of the session. And the account key is what we're going to use in the session to indicate that they're logged in. So somewhere here, you're going to check the password. And for this particular application, we're just going to make it be UMSI is always the password. So that means password is correct. To make indicate that it's correct, we're going to set in the session, the account is the post account. So that would be Chuck or csav at umesh.edu or whatever. And then we're going to put a little flash message in. This is called a flash message, name success. And we're going to say logged in. And then we're going to call the header to redirect to app.php because we're in login.php. And then we're going to return if that's what happens. On the other hand, if you don't have the right password, you're going to set a message in the session, kind of like the too high, too low in the previous example, and then redirect back to ourselves and then return to get out. And so it's either going to come back to us with an error or success in the session, well, error in the session, or it's going to go over to app.php with the person logged in or not. Okay? And so now let's take a look. Oops, oops. Take a look at this code, and that is here we are in the body of the login, and now we check to see if there is this an error key is set, and if it is, we're going to print it out with a color red and unset it, so we're taking it out of the session. No. This is a pattern we call flash, meaning that if you get a bad login error, then it shows a red message like bad login, but then if you hit refresh, you don't see it again. So we're going to take the error out. We didn't do that in the previous example with the guessing game. We kept the message in the session, but now we're going to take it out 
And we're gonna have the same pattern if there's a success string and we're gonna print it out and then take it out. And then we, then we paste the, do the form. And that basically is how we get to uh, an, a, a screen that looks like this, that has the incorrect password, this came, and this is still a get. So there was a, you hit this button, it does a post, a redirect, and then this flash message. And if you hit refresh at this point, you would see that screen again. That's because it's a flash message. And so post redirect get flash is the idea of putting a message in the session, then you redirect, and then that screen pulls the data out of the session and then removes it from the session, displays it on the screen once, and then deletes it. And then if you hit refresh on this page, you don't see the message because it flashed at you once and then it was deleted. So that's called a flash message. And it's just another pattern. And so the, if we look through how the flash message, flash message works, so you know, you're sitting here on the login screen, you send a bad password, and so then it says, oh, and it, do, it can't send a real HTML, but it does put the string bad password into the session under the error key. And then it redirects the browser immediately to login.php and says, Re hit me with a get. And so then the browser instantly does a get request, login.php wakes up, it reads the flash message, and then it produces the output, but then it wipes it, oops, come back, but it wipes it out of the session, right? And so the user sees bad password. And then what happens is if they then hit refresh, on the next screen that they see, there is no bad password because it's been removed from the session. The act of producing this actually wiped it out of the session. And that's the idea of a post redirect get with a flash message. We throw the message in the session, we show it once, and then we wipe it out, and it's not there anymore. So it's only on the next GET request that we see a flash message. And it's, it's very common for little error messages that you'd, you don't want to be hitting refresh and the error message stays there. Refresh, bad password, refresh, bad password. Mm. The old guess was not so bad, so we didn't really want it, that old guess to be uh, too low in the message. It wasn't a bad design, but for a login screen, you probably want to use a flash message, which only lasts for one next request response cycle and the further ones don't do it, right? So it, it takes it out. So that's a flash message. Okay, and there is the code that does the flash message. And, and you'll see, I mean, when I write my code, I kind of pretty much always use the string error and success and I put them in and pretty much I just do this over and over. And the next thing you know, I make a utility function that just does these things because I do the same pattern in the beginning of my code over and over and over again. Um, I just, I'm, you're doing flash messages all the time. Sometimes they're good and you want them to be green. Sometimes they're bad and you want it to be red. Okay. Okay. So um, let's take a look at the application code, the app.php. Um, and so if the, the way the app.php works, if we go all the way back up here, should have this screens, these screens a little lower. Um, it, when you first go to app.php, it says, please log in. And once you're logged in, app.php says, please log out. And so we have to look at how you write app.php in a way to do this. So here's app.php. App.php comes in and it says, it, it puts out a flash message, checks to see if there's a success message. That's the little green logged in and puts that out and then unsets it. That's the flash pattern. And then we are gonna to check to see if we're logged in. We say, if the account key is set in the session, if it's not set, not, then press log in to start. Else, this is where your whole cool application would be, or press log out to get out when you're done. And so that's how the presence of the account key in the session tells you that you're logged in. And in the code that does the successful login, that sets that key. So if we, if we follow this through now, <clears throat> you are in the login screen, you send a post request, and it's good now, it's a happy post request because you got the password right. And so we set the account key in the, in the uh, session and we stick a success message in called logged in, and then we redirect, but now we're redirecting to app.php. Uh, we're not redirecting back to ourselves. In the error case, we are redirecting back to login.php, and this is why I call this kind of routing, right? We're choosing in the first part, which is a, routing is a controller function in the model view controller. So we are being a controller and we're saying, oh, I've got this data 
and I'm in good shape, and the next thing I want the user to see is app.php versus I've got this data, the password's wrong, I'm gonna set an error message, but the next thing I want the user to see is login.php, because I want them to log in and try again. So the routing decision is controller, and you see that in that code. So it redirects to app.php, it sets logged in in the session of under, dollar, uh, under success, and sets the account in the session. So now we're at app.php, the browser does a get request to app.php, and it checks the account and use that to generate the if then else, but it also sees logged in, and so it says, oh, that's a success message. I will send that back to the browser in a flash, but then I will wipe out, right? I will wipe out that flash message, the success message, but I didn't wipe out account. Okay, so account stays in the session to indicate we're logged in. We're logged in until that goes away. So now every time it goes back to app.php, account is still in the session. So it reads it and it knows that you're logged in. And so as many times as you do this, you're going to stay logged in the whole time. Now, the most fun code to write is the logout because it almost always looks the same. And that is you start the session, you throw away all the keys in the session, and then you just redirect back to app.php and poof, you are logged out. So you press logout, you go through this code, and then you come back to the same file and now it says login because the account is no longer in the session. And so that's login, logout, etc. right? And so now you've come in, came in before, now you're back to logged out because you remove that by doing the session destroy. So in this series of uh, lectures, we've talked about cookies, we've talked about sessions, we've talked about how we do sessions in PHP, we talked about post redirect, we talked about the redirect header, we talked about the post redirect pattern, we talked about flash messages, etc, etc, etc. Thanks, see you on the net.